Hi crafty friends, Lacey here, the Cheeky Bum, and today I have a haul for you. So I have Joann's, um, and I have some new uh, summer paper pad releases um, that I'm going to go through. And then I have a couple paper pads from Michael's that I have purchased like a month ago, and I completely forgot about them. Um, as I was putting away, uh, or like looking through all this Joann stuff, I was like, oh, I, I might as well show those too. So... Anyway, I'm going to get in to Joann's. Joann's, I mean, it, it didn't have an amazing deals, but I had 40% off of paper pads. And um, I needed some just like white solid core um, cardstock. And, you know, I, I was like, oh, I, I'm going to look to see what else I have while they're on sale. I, I do like to say like, wait until they're like 50 to 60% off. Cause they do that every now and then 40 isn't a great deal, but I'll take 40 over nothing. Um, but I did decide that I was going to go and get some Maggie Holmes. Um, if you've watched any of my videos before, I haven't really dabbled in the Maggie Holmes very much. I think I have like one small paper pad. I think I have like Woodland Grove that came out last year. But I was watching Bethany's video this morning, which is the crafty, or my crafty, or your crafty BFF, and she made a good point. She's like, um, she picked up some Maggie Home stuff because it's getting spring and they're going to switch over collections, so they might not be carrying um, some of the collections that they, you know, been carrying the last year because they'll come out with some new ones. And I was like, oh, I didn't think about that. So I decided to get some gingham garden just because I think that that's the one I liked the most um because it was very pastel I again I already have Woodland Grove um but I didn't have gingham garden I really thought about what what's the other ones they she has like marigold I don't know there was a couple other ones um but I liked this one the most it was um the most like pastel um I'm not gonna go well, I guess I'll, I'll go I'll do a quick flip through but I feel like most of you have already seen this one it's it again nothing nothing new um but I did decide to get um the ephemera and the stickers these are the only two things I got I didn't get anything else um these were for 40 or 50 percent off so I think instead of yeah, instead of $3.99, they were $2.37 for me. I do have military discount that comes off on that as well. Um, so yeah. So this is what I technically like. I, I mean, I didn't technically go in for this. I I went in for like the white white card stock, but I was like, oh, I'll get this as well. Because yes, maybe they're not gonna have it anymore. Maybe they won't carry it. Maybe they'll clearance it out. I'm not quite sure. But there was only one pad left anyway. So I was like, oh, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Because it is really pretty. And it's very spring. Um, there's a lot of spring swaps going on right now. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get it. It's, it goes. It's very, very spring. So that's what I got. Um, this is what the ephemera pack looks like on the back. But again, nothing new. Um, many people have hauled this before. But I'll get into the newer stuff in a second. So yeah, I just went in for just white cardstock. Um, this one is 65 pound, and then this one is 110. Like yeah, that, that's what I went in for. So I got those, and then I went. Um, I was looking because I was like, oh, I have you know some summer ones coming up. I, I was looking for something with ice cream. I'm thinking about hosting an ice cream themed swap, um, which I think I will. So stay tuned because there'll be something that's announced very, very soon about that. So stay tuned for that. So, um, as I was looking through, uh, the paper, I found this one and I think this came out last year cause I, it looks familiar. Um, but it's called dessert first. And I, I don't think I have this one. <laughs> Um, but I got this because it was a little mix of everything. So there's definitely some ice cream stuff in here, but there's some fruit stuff, um, because there's some fruity swaps going on right now and then other sweet treats. So I was like, oh, this could be like, you know, this could hit a lot of things for me. So I just thought that this was super cute. 
This is like a cone, like a waffle cone, which would be a great background or like backing for a lot of things to build up on. Some donuts. We have a little mix of a, everything. Sweet treat. This like, it's like a reddish pink with polka dots. This is a, adorable. I love this. I have like a little gingham, some stripes. We have round sprinkles, but I think there's a page in here that has others like the longer sprinkles. Some more donuts. Here's the longer sprinkles. We have a lighter waffle cone. I have some macarons. Have some really cute cut aparts. They have like desserts, they have fruit, they have a lot of different things. We have this page. This is a pretty stripe, but we see we have some cherries. We have like a rainbow stripe. We have some cookies. There's an ice cream page. And then we have um a popsicle and we have ca cotton candy this cotton candy page is so cute I love this and then we have some little sundaes and then we have like candy jars and then the strawberry page oh, it's got me it's got me and then this other sweet page, sweet treats page. It's got a little bit of everything. So I thought that this could hit a couple different um, swaps for me, like, or I can like mix and match some other collections in with this because of the fruit. I already have some fruit stuff, but um, these fruit pages were really cute, and I liked the ice cream and other things. Um, let's see. This one was. Normally $19.99, I got it for $10.19, so I really like this. Up next, I also picked up this uh, Magnolia paper just because I thought it was gorgeous. This, oops, this wasn't an intention either, but I was flipping through it and I was like, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous pad of paper. So we have these beautiful flowers. It's just got some like nice textures. Um, I think that this could make a really pretty album or like traveler's notebook because it, it's very colorful. There's a lot of different colors, but they all just go and flow so well into each other. I like that it's double-sided. Um, you know, sometimes I, I love double-sided for certain projects and then sometimes like I really like single-sided so that I'm not like missing out on the paper on the back and I, I know that's weird but I hate like not being able to see or use the paper on the back when I'm gluing something down especially if it's super cute that that just makes me so sad so sometimes I really like single-sided and sometimes I really gravitate towards double-sided it just depends on the project and then we have a really pretty cut apart page but yeah so there's like there's pinks there's purples there's yellows there's oranges there's greens but it, everything just flows so nicely together so I think that this could make a really really gorgeous album so that's why I grabbed that all right so next we come into the new collections that I was not expecting um I didn't know that these were out and the cashier told me that she just happened to put them out like yesterday so there's three new collections. I put them on my IG stories. Um, there's a bold summer, there's a summer resort, and then there's patriotic, which is a 4th of July. Uh, I did not get that one just because I, I haven't used any of my 4th of July paper from last year. Um, hopefully there'll be some kind of 4th of July swap or maybe I'll host like a one-on-one -on -one swap. I'm not sure. I would love to do some 4th of July um, crafts but I just haven't. So I just didn't need that other paper pad. Um, if it's still there, when it goes on sale for like 60% off, I might grab it, maybe a smaller one, but I don't think I need one. Um, I got a 12 by 12 and a six by eight last year. Um, the only thing I've noticed, and I, I'm sure that you guys have noticed too, that this year, I, I think maybe since, 
I can't remember if the Halloween ones were double-sided or not. But lately, usually Park Lane, um, like seasonal pads that come out or holiday pads um, are usually double-sided and the, these ones are not in um what was their their um christmas ones i don't think were this year and i don't think that the valentine's day ones were or maybe the christmas ones were and maybe the valentine's ones were not so maybe it's just been this year i don't know i've just noticed it in the last couple releases that they are not double-sided and that's kind of sad um but but I guess not. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. But anyway, I'm going to go through these. I did get one 12 by 12 of the Bold Summer. Um, and I only got a 6 by 8 of the Summer Resort. So I guess I'll go through the Summer Resort one first. So I got some fishies. I guess I can hold it like this. Some coral. Some suns. Fish is very like blue yellow orange and like a pale pink um throughout there are some really cute um foiled paper in here yeah i just didn't get a 12 by 12 i just didn't think i needed it but um i thought that i, I know that i'm gonna have some summer swaps and i have a lot of summer paper from last year um, but I thought that I could add this in because it was cute. And then the, these six by eight pads ended up being, let's see. Trying to tell me. These ended up, so instead of $6.99, these were only $3.56. So that's why I grabbed them. And the, so I got the last one of the summer and I grabbed the last couple of, um, or the summer resort and the, the last couple of the bold summer suns. I feel like you get like this type of page in every summer paper pad. Some poems. I love this rainbow page right here. I don't know why. It reminds me of like a beach towel I had when I was a kid or something. I don't know, but I really, really like this page right here. I got some suns. <coughs> Sorry. Frog in my throat. <coughs> this is really cute too i like that i had a slightly different color palette for summer um i mean usually you get your blues and like uh, pinks and reds but this is like just a slightly different i like the yellows in there and i like um the kind of mutedness of it they're not like super bright and then these are super cute cut aparts. So along with this collection, I got the sticker sheets and you're supposed to get all of these. So there's five different sheets in here. I feel like in the past, some of these sheets have had like five of the same sheet, which is really annoying. It's like, thanks, but no thanks. I feel like that's how the 4th of July ones were last year. You got one sticker sheet and it was the same one. Um, so I do like that there's a variety. So we have this one. I like these little wave um, border pieces. And then you got some sentiments. And then kind of like some little tag pieces. So I, I like the variety that you're getting with this um, compared to some of the past season ones. I feel like this is the first season maybe they've done. I feel like, yeah, like I always get disappointed in the sticker packs. Like I'll grab them. Um, usually like when they're, they're super cheap, like when they go 60% off. But it's, yeah, you're getting like five sheets of the same sticker. So I like that you're getting a variety pack with these. Um, and then the only thing they didn't do is usually they, you know, they have a pack of ephemera. That, I, mean, I wouldn't say it's like this, but you know, when you get like just kind of a pack of ephemera like this that goes with the collection this year, they didn't. So they had these um, ephemera packs. So there's like some built up little pieces like this. Um, they did have another, this is what it looks like. They did have another pack. I'll try to like insert pictures of it 
if I can. They had a pack, they had some bling with it. Um, but yeah, they didn't have like the the normal little ephemera packs, which is fine because they're they're thin. Like, I mean, I don't really use them much, honestly. I don't know why I buy them. Um, but these are super cute and I am definitely more apt to use something like this that already has dimension and texture to it. So that's what I got for the summer resort. Next I got the bold summer and this is what got me. So I'm obviously I'm hosting a fruit swap. I've also joined another fruit swap and I wasn't expecting this. I really fully planned on ordering fruit paper online, but this just kind of hit the mark for me. Um, so let's kind of flip through this. We have some oranges, or sorry, lemons. The strawberry page is adorable. Could care less for that page. We have like this fruit mixture. So this is like more of like a drink mix. So there's like mojitos, pina coladas, margaritas and stuff. But this is so cute because I don't think I've seen anything like this. And it, like it, it actually has like the little ingredients and directions. I just thought that this was adorable. There's definitely like some filler pages in here, but we have some watermelon. It's very like... You know if, if you like all different fruits which i'll that's what i'll do i don't usually try to stick with just one fruit um i like the variety so we have pineapple here we have hibiscus then we have the pina colada page that also has the ingredients and um the instructions this page is so cute I never thought about doing like a cocktail, like a uh, paper craft, but I think that it could be really, really fun and really cute. Look at this pineapple page. This is probably one of my favorite pages in here. Another little like strawberry check. You have your un umbrella, your drink umbrellas. Even the stripe page, it's really cute. Another little lemon page. This pineapple drink page. Another strawberry page. And then this one just has like all the drinks like Mai Tai, Colada, Sangria. That's very cute. Another lemon page. I really like this lemon print too. And then you have your cut aparts that are super cute so like I said I did get the 12 by 12 of that one as well I did get the sticker book so we got this page I like that you get a variety of them and then you have your little drinks and your little like um, drink names. Um, this page is just kind of okay. Nothing amazing. But I mean, it could be like built on. And then some like little kind of cut aparts. These are super cute up here. And then you have another one. Oh, this one feels like it's upside down. <laughs> So super cute. I was excited to see these. And then I also got their um, like a, like a little ephemera page pieces. So we have little cocktails. These are so cute, but you have the little squeeze the day up here. I like this easy peasy lemon squeezy. Even this fun summer one is really pretty. And then you have some on the back. Like this is so cute. So that is what I got from Joanne. So it was a big surprise when I walked in there to see that collection because I wasn't expecting it. I didn't know that, like, I guess I should have thought that they were coming out with stuff, but I didn't think they would be releasing summer quite yet. But I'm glad I did because I was going to order something online and now I don't have to. Because even if I do, I really like the stuff that I think I'm going to order. Um, but this is just a great staple and, you know, they're always a good price. So there's that. 
And then I did get a few from Michaels. I'm not sure if you guys are interested in these or not. Um, these are the, the new pads that came out a couple, I guess like almost a month ago. And they are like, at the time they were buy one, get one half off. They're only $10 pads. Um, but there was a couple in there that I thought were interesting. So I guess I'll do a quick flip through if you would like. Um, so this one is a theater of the stars. And this one was just kind of neat. There's a, a lot of pages that I probably wouldn't use, but I thought that this could make a really pretty like celestial, like masquerade type of album because there's some really pretty designs in here. There's like some maps. Um, I don't know where the maps are for. I don't, yeah, I can't tell exactly what the maps are for. Probably nowhere. It's probably, you know, the Night of Magic. They just have some really pretty pieces in here and, you know, a good price. Um, I did have a coupon for these as well that was about to expire, so... I really didn't pay a whole lot for these. But I did like some of these like um, gridded like log type of papers. I really do want to get into more junk journaling and stuff like that. So I thought that these could be like great additions for that. Know that these are not going to be like everybody's cup of tea they're not designer or anything but like i just thought that they were cute and yeah i want to make more albums and stuff like that more um traveler's notebooks and just stuff like that so i thought that these are you know good papers to add into it this one is magical thinking this one was very like fairy to me like oh i got three pages for that uh, so this one has three of everything. The last one only had two of everything. Let's see. Did I, did I get that wrong? Yeah, it was only two designs of everything. This one, even though it's the same company, has three of everything. Some butterflies. I love these like moons and stars and suns. Then you know you got your your boring filler paper, but you end up using it. I do anyway. Some cut aparts. I love this dusty pink. So yeah, this one isn't as exciting as the other one, um, but I thought it was cute. I got this one basically because it was double-sided pastel, and it does, I can't tell if it's solid core or not. It's not telling me, but I think so. But anyway, that's why I got it because it was double sided. So these are the pastel colors. I figured summer, spring, they're going to be used. They do have a texture to them and they were really pretty. So that one is kind of boring, but for double sided, I thought it was a good deal. And then I got a travel one just because, you know, I like travel stuff. I have a lot of, a lot of travel paper. Did I need more? No. There's always one that's got to give you grief, right? Really? I usually use my razor blade for this, but do you think I have it on me? No. So anyway, this one knows only two of everything as well. 
but I like I, I loved these little planes the gold foil planes were really cute I like like I said the log sheets I think, and I, I, you know, I grabbed this, but I think somebody was talking about possibly doing, um, like a travel themed, um, swap coming up. So I, I guess it was like serendipity that I got it. I don't know. We'll see. Do I have way too many travel themed paper pads? Yes. But I can't say no to them. They're probably my favorite thing to get. I don't know why. Like, and I, I liked these pages, like the um, postcardy type of cutouts. I just thought they were just really cute. I really liked them. We do do a lot of travel. We haven't done a whole lot lately, but in the past, we've been to many, many, many places, many countries. So and there's this. So those are what I got from Michael's this ended up being very long most people probably will only watch um, the stuff I got from Joanne's at the beginning but that's okay if you made it this far amazing thanks for watching um I think that Michael's still has these pads I haven't been to Michael's since I purchased these so it's been like a month since I've been to Michael's um but these are great you know especially when they're buy one get one half off or eventually like if they did it like they did last year, they'll bring it down to like $5 and that's great too. I just didn't want to miss out on anything like by, you know, waiting to see if the prices go down. My Michaels didn't have a whole lot of these and I really wanted like, I, I liked the double-sided um, pastel paper. So I definitely wanted that. And the travel one, I probably could have walked away with just those two packs. Um, but I seen the other ones and I just, I just grabbed them as well. You can never have too much paper, right? Right? That's what I keep saying to myself. <laughs> I'm a paper addict. I definitely need to make more albums and stuff and I don't know, maybe sell them. I'm I'm not quite sure. But I need to do more. I you know, there's just never enough time, right? But loving the new Joann's um collections and yes, they're great. I I have no other words for it. So if you have any questions, let me know below. I will link anything that I can from Joann's or Michael's um, down below as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.